For today's art project, we'll be making Dia de los Muertos Mexican Sugar Skulls. Here's what you'll need for this project. You'll need two pieces of paper, one white, one black. You'll need a pencil and a glue stick, a pair of scissors, and some oil pastel crayons. Regular crayons will work, but they'll be much more vibrant and vivid if you use the oil pastels. Here's an example my daughter Grace did. And here's one that Lizzie did. Here's another one I did. I think it's a little on the scary side. I'm gonna show you how to make a very simple skull. First draw a big circle. Now a square. Erase the center part and the parts on the inside of that square and you have the bottom jaw. Pretty simple. You could also draw back that mouth right on that bottom part of the circle create some ovals to create teeth. Now some big circles for eyes. And then an upside down heart for a nose. You can draw it upside down if you really need to. Here's how you make a little more complicated one. You make a, that same circle, but you make a square a little bit lower this time so that bottom part doesn't go through the middle. Draw a little arch on the bottom and then connect it to the face with the sides like that. Erase all the inner bits and you have a more rounded bottom part of the face. Redraw a line more in the center this time and put some teeth on it. Same thing, big circle eyes, upside down heart for the nose. Now you get to decorate your skull with bright colors and there's often a lot of flowers and designs. They always get repeated and balanced. Here I did a little spider web. You see that sometimes, little swirlies, but I like to have things have a mirrored reflection on either side. So if I do a flower on one side, I copy it on the other side. You see a lot of that kind of balance and symmetry in these skulls. And so I'm trying to do that here where one side is similar or if not just the same as the other side. You can cut out the eye holes by folding a little bit and making a slit and then just cutting all the way through. Cut out the nose by folding it the opposite way and then cutting out a little heart shape. Now cut out your entire skull and glue it onto the black piece of paper. You don't have to cut out the eyes and nose. That can be a little tricky. If you want, you can leave those there and just color them in black so that they still look like they've been cut out. Use your oil pastels to create patterns, do flowers and other designs that you repeat on the side so you have more of that same symmetry all throughout 